So if you've ever sewed a decorative stitch, a stitch that kind of goes forward and back as it tries to create the pattern, and you're finding that the stitches don't come all the way back together for multiple reasons. Maybe it's just the fabric, maybe the weave of the fabric is making it not be able to create the stitch as it was designed for, like corduroy, those bumps will get in the way, or something kind of nubby, like a towel or something. Those decorative stitches don't always turn out the way they're supposed to. But on this machine, on the Bernina 560, there is a feature called the balance. So touch the eye for information, and there is a function with the scale. So pretty much what you're able to do is adjust it. So I often use this stitch, kind of like the honeycomb stitch, to play with. So here's how it looks. It brings the stitch in as it's normally supposed to look. So this is what it looks like. So if you have a problem with your stitch, and, and it's actually not a problem, because all of a sudden we have a, a different looking stitch as well. So, uh, but let's say we need to kind of compact that and make those stitches actually touch each other as they're supposed to. So what you do is you put your fabric near your screen and you turn the knobs. So if you turn it one way and then you saw them pushing together, well, that's not the way we need it to go. We're gonna go the other way. You're gonna make the screen match the problem area of the stitch on the fabric. So once you've actually changed this, the machine will balance out and kind of readjust the stitch so it's supposed to look like it's supposed to. Now, as you can see, when we change this, we could almost get different looking stitches. So if you want to have some fun, balance is a way to make some of your stitches look like well, different than what they were originally planned for. Now, since this machine is balanced, if I go ahead and create, here we go, create this look like this, I'm actually gonna get that squished look. So just for fun, let's go ahead and stitch it. And you'll see that it has kind of a compact look because it's pushing it further together than the way it actually originally was. So how about for fun, there we go. This actually looks really kind of extra thick. So see how it actually pushed it together from our normal setting to, I had to actually make it lengthened for this, to, or unbalance it to give you this look in the first place. But look what you can have is multiple ways this stitch can look. So let's try it just for fun. Let's go to a decorative stitch. And here, let's just pick this one. We'll choose the balance and go into it. So once again, whoop, boy, that disappears fast, is, oh, because that's the other one. Let's go for length, yep. Ooh, nope. It's, see how you would, if you were getting a stitch that didn't look like it was supposed to and it came out like this, then you would adjust the picture and the fabric and then the machine will alter it for you to get you back to the normal looking stitch. So that does take a little bit and I will tell you balance is something that you don't need a lot, but all it takes is one time you're sewing along, you're not getting the look that you want and you can fix it yourself.